Hey Wargamers, welcome back to the channel, Death From Above Wargaming. I'm Aaron. I'm Tom. And we are back. We're back with a special night of gaming. It is true. Uh, apparently this was not supposed to come out. Tom was just wandering around Barnes & Noble as he does. Yeah. Uh, and what did you find, Tom? Battletech Encounters. Battletech Encounters. Uh, the, the illicit goods from true. the outer reaches. It's a beautiful box. I want to take a look at this, Tom. I'm excited. So This is the first um, time you're seeing it. It's the first I'm time I'm seeing it. it to you. Tom, like the, as soon as we found out that it was released, Tom got into his vehicle, which is an urban mech, uh, and walked over to the local Barnes & Noble uh, where he purchased Straight this. Straight through three neighborhoods, like four houses yeah I, I mean at least so they were only construction factor 10 so yeah. you just just plowed right but through I them. fell through like four basements too uh, he sent me some you know some basically he opened this up he did take a look at the rules so yep. we weren't coming in totally cold he sent me some some screenshots looks like a very fun game yeah it, it looks really fun looks right. looks casual look quick yeah we'll see one to eight players one to eight players one yeah to eight Right, so. because because the encounters are generated from the deck, so you could play by yourself. It's kind of cool. Um, yeah, kind of cool. I know you so, love that. We are going to unbox this bad boy. Playing by yourself. Yeah, I mean it's true. Like I mean when I'm when I'm lonely or on a conference call that I don't want to be on, I just play some BattleTech and call you. I call you Billy Idol. Why? I don't get it. Dancing with my set. Ah, oh, there it is. Come on. There it is. I'm, I'm slow on the uptake. You win this round, Tom. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we're going to unbox Battletech Encounters, and we're actually going to play a few rounds, maybe even a whole game, we'll see. Um, but we're going to get uh, get into this thing, Tom. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, guys, stay tuned. Battletech Encounters unboxing, it's coming right up. All right, and we're back. Uh, we are ready to unbox Battletech Encounters. So, Tom, do you remember what you paid for Battletech Encounters? I actually have no idea. I, Tom I, just swiped the I, card. I, Does I it say on the look. back? I, I, didn't, I didn't look no, either. No, it doesn't. I want to say based on... I, I really have no idea. I didn't no even, idea. I didn't even hear what she said. I was so excited. So I'm going to say $25. Yeah, I think, that's what I think it was, too, yeah. but I don't know. That sounds good. Um, cool. Let's unbox this thing. So the first thing sure. I noticed was that the, the cover art was yeah. like blue. It's kind of neat. Super cool. And it, it does like the matte and, and gloss finish. I love that. Super nice. Yeah. Look, look at the art on the background. Very cool. Oh, I like it. There's the, the sort of the damaged, what is that, the condor maybe? And there's mm. a Orion in the back and then the warrior flying by. All the new stuff is in here. Yeah. Um, big they Gabby did a great logo. job with the box art, I think. Um, this is interesting, huh? So it used to be the old Atlas, right? The original yeah. Atlas head. This is a slightly different. Is that maybe an Atlas too? So here, yeah. let me let me hold this up for you guys. Let me take a look the, at the cover art. Yeah, the cover then, art was from Eldon Calger. So great job on that cover yeah. art. Um, it also has the new. This is a new division of Catalyst. Catalyst Board Games. Um, their logo there, if you can see that. Yeah. Um, and this is a push your luck dice game. Yeah. So the, the, the form factor, the box, matches a lot of other game some... systems. Like that, the, for like board games, this seems to be like an, a not uncommon shape and size. Yeah. So cool. So right on top, you get the classic Battletech uh, primer. I think they're including this in all of the Pretty box much sets. everything. They're, pu awesome. they're pushing the agenda, which I love. Yeah. Um, it's a very I, simple yeah. way to learn basic facts about all of the factions. Right? For example, if you want to know. People what the are Capellan right Confederation now. is. Yeah. Just kidding. There it is. Yeah, so this is the primer. Yeah. Not, nothing new there. So the rule book, not very big. No, uh, it was eight, like... Eight total pages. Eight total pages. And, yeah. Well, one of them is a fact and a nothing. Yeah. Um, I read through it a couple times, and I thought it was written pretty well. Um, yeah. I mean, we'll get into it, but um, yeah, it was, it was very easy to get through. Intuitive. Yeah. Um, so while, while you're pulling that out, 36 contract cards, 72 encounter cards, 36 yeah. equipment cards, 8 oversized combat command cards, yeah. 5 white, 4 yellow, 4 green, 4 blue, 4 black dice, Seabill tokens, rep yeah. tokens, so other things, yeah. other tokens. So getting into like the meat of the box, there's not much to the game. You get a series of tokens. Yeah. So we start again, punching them out. Seabill's worth 1 and 5. Oh, okay. Um, then you get your reputation <sighs> coins, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And then um, the two special 
um, player statuses, which is noble patronage and censure. Um, pretty cool effects that they have. Right, and censure then, is like when you draw a mission or a contract, like I pick or something, right? Like I pick for you. Exactly, it puts I, you I at a disadvantage. I pick you the worst one, yeah. 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 Um, I want to punch these out while you're talking. Yeah, and then you have your deck of encounter cards <clears throat> okay. and your deck of contracts. Um, and then you said the oversized command, uh, combat command cards. And so that's basically the game. And then here are the dice. Um, not many dice, you don't have to have a lot. Yeah. And the players share them, so there's not two sets. What if I don't want to share with you, Tom? Um, well, we have like four bowls of dice, so I don't think it'll be a problem. Four bowls. Four it's bowls. Like so many bowls of dice. Vats. Vats of Juicy dice. Juicy vats. It's um, probably a better way to describe yeah. it. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so, so that's about it. Um, everything it's looks really nice. The, the cardboard card stock is thick. The dice. Yeah, and they're easy to punch out, which I always find it annoying when you punch them out and like they rip because they're not, you know. I will say these dice roll pretty nice. Yeah. I like that they're very square-sided and not those weird. Ooh, they're square-sided. You know I love square-sided yeah. dice. I'm a that weirdo. That is the only way you can get proper probabilities. That's true. Square-sided dice. That's why. Fun fact: you heard it here first on the channel, guys. Yeah. I feel like we've talked about it way too many times, to be honest. But um, people get mad about it. It's controversial. Should I wait to open stuff? Should I, should I keep? No, start okay. opening. Oh, no, no, man. Listen. All right. You I'm should get the. I'm excited about this one. I want to know what combat commands are included. Yeah. When so I the read the. Oh. Yeah, go ahead. I was okay. going to say I saw Wolf's Dragoons in the rule book, but I want to know yeah. what other ones are in there. Yeah, I, I don't. I have no idea what's actually in there. But so your command, your combat command card is what dictates like how many dice you have access to in the game. Um, and I think that's really it. And some of them have special abilities, I believe, that well, maybe they, they affect your, your um, um, encounters and whatnot. No, your your equipment. Oh, interesting. We forgot about equipment. It must be partial partial. Yeah, in the it's deck. in the contract yeah. deck. Yeah, I can I can actually see it if you flip them over. Yeah. So let's talk about the combat commands. Wolf dragoons. Sure. All right. All right. Once per turn, you may look at the top three cards of the equipment deck. Choose one to replace any card in the black market, discard the other two. That's cool. So, cool. so I wonder if they're all going to have some kind of little flavor. Oh, it looks that way. Yeah, and then I wonder if there's a difference in the number of dice you get access to, or yeah. if they're all the same. One. They all look the same, but they have different colors, but right. I didn't see in the rules where the colors made a difference, the colors, but I think they interact with the cards. They do, yeah. Okay. And, and they, intera they interact with both the equipment cards, but also, I think, the encounters and the Exciting. contracts. Yeah. So Grey Death Legion, the first equipment card you buy each turn costs one fewer sea bills. It's because they're rich. Calhounds, begin the game with a noble patronage token. That's cool. 21st Centauri Lancers, you know oh, how excited you Ben is going to be? You automatically win? Is yeah, that, is, that's it's it. Weird. Ben, Did congratulations. Ben write that card? I know, yeah. You cannot receive the censure token if you... Oh, wow, that's actually really good. That's dope. That's cool. Iridani Light Horse, once per turn when flipping a contract, flip the top two, take one. Okay. That's pretty good. Northwind Highlanders, once per turn, score an additional two reputation. Wow. Uh, for certain mission types. Uh, McCarran's Armored Cavalry, uh, once per turn, score an additional reputation on planetary assaults. And then Waco Rangers, as some would say, the Waco Rangers. If you do not have the Censure token, you may take it to reroll up to four dice. Wow. Do not pass it on at the end of the turn. Fantastic. That's wild. So Fantastic. eight total, huh? Okay. I love it. That's cool. I love it. And they all have a little bit of a flavor. A little, so little flavor. It'll be different. There's two blues, two black dice, two yellow dice, two green dice. Perfect. Makes sense. Yeah. But there's no... Oh, yeah, there are. Okay. There's all the colors. Right. Yep. Yeah, and then the everyone, one, two, three, four, five, and you got five white dice. So, got everything you need in this box. Like, Very you'll cool. never, like... Even if you're playing with eight players, there's always enough dice, right. which and, is and very cool. One person's... Not, not to jump ahead, but one person plays at a time completing contracts. Right. And so So you're never all, rolling all at the same yeah, time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um so very and cool. I there's there's equipment that lets you get access to additional dice in your dice pool. That's why there's some extras. You're like, oh why are there four green? Well, you might be able to <laughs> well grab some extras. So here is the encounter deck. This is a all encounters. Wow, that's all encounters. Yeah, and so if you if you want a real just to make sense of what we're looking at. Yeah. So the hierarchy of the cards is basically you get your combat command card, mm -hmm. which dictates your dice and everything, and, and some special additions. And then you draw contracts, which you're trying to complete by having encounters. So 
one contract can have many encounters underneath it, right? And then you, you basically can have multiple contracts per turn. One, we can get into that. But so that's sort of where we're going with this. So if you want, maybe we'll start with the contract cards. Sure. And we can lay them out. Here you go. So here's the contract cards. Okay. But yeah, so, so right in front of you, you have the totality of the game. Um, equipment is not necessary, but it just enhances it. But the game is right there. All right. Pretty cool. Set. Very simple. Yeah. So what does a contract look like? So here's an example. Power Grid Raid. Wow, look at the artwork on that. Artwork's phenomenal. Actually, and the quality of the card is really nice. Really high quality. Do, do, did you actually see? Look. It's a fire starter. Do you see what's going on? He's being he's, he's having a play date with elementals. Yeah. He's bringing his kids. Yeah, let's see. I don't know if you guys can see that or I not. I love that that's the first car we pulled. That is it's the so best good. image. That should be on the cup box <clears> cover, <throat> to be honest. But And now, and how do you complete? Do, do you want to sort of talk a little bit about how the cards interact? Or no? I mean, do you, you, get into you, it? Are, you sure. read the rules. Yeah, so I, I was only, say I only this. perused. Yeah. On each turn, the point is to expect, or I'm sorry, for, for each of your turns to complete a contract, if you give me just a contract card as an example. Um, yes, it's the best card. So good. Um, so you get the dice that are shown on your combat command sure. card. Let's pretend you're McCarran's sure. own cavalry. Awesome, yeah. So you get five white and one yellow. And now the way that you complete every contract is exactly the same. You have to expend all the dice that are on your card completely. So you roll them and they have numbers on them, uh -huh. right? And then if you, if you draw an encounter card, so right. would you roll first, then draw the encounter card? Uh, yes. It doesn't really matter. But, okay. But then... Um, That's a bad example. That's, I don't even know what that is. Yeah, it says either default or lock up to four dice and take the sentry token. So That's, basically, yeah, and, and they're not oh. shuffled, so they're oh, okay. all the same. There, okay, so so. Here, here's a good... <laughs> wow. Clan command star. So to beat this encounter now... Wow! You need 13. 13, yeah. So you'd have to lock up basically... The, the six, the four, and the three. Six, four, and three. Okay. Uh, six, four, three. So we, Boom. we've cleared those. So now if I draw... <clears throat> you enough. may now choose to exercise an escape clause to take the earned C bills or okay. push your luck. So you could take the escape clause. Yeah. And how many C bills does a clan command star give you? Like two on the bottom, Plus I think. Plus two it's, C bills, yeah. Yeah, so like if you wanted to, you could exercise your escape clause... You take the two C bills, then what? Your turn's over, right? Your turn is over, and you have not gotten the reputation points of that. You don't contract. get the right. So, or you. So let's let's move on. Let's let's see what happens, right? Mm -hmm. So the next card I pulled was a Lyran Scout Lance, which also requires thirteen. Hmm. Now here's the problem. It's a Lyran Scout Lance. It's all like Atlas's. Yeah. The picture's so good. So what I have here is thirteen exactly. Do you see this? Okay. Right. But don't you re-roll? I think you re-roll them. No. I think you do. Um, so you can I go can, over the value, but you can't be under it. I don't think, I don't know. I think you have to have the exact. It's not explicitly clear, but the way the rules are See written. If it's in the fact. It sound, I, it's not. I looked. It sounds as if you need to exactly meet it. Because I wondered the same, if you could exceed it. Yeah. But then you could cheat, you know, and, but maybe not. You, you know, maybe that's fine. Place in you select one or more dice that total up to the encounter value. Right. Yeah, it total doesn't up it, to the encounter value. Right. It doesn't not say up to or over. Right. And rules are usually explicit about that. Yeah, these dice are um, locked. And it repeats that language many times. It does. Um, if you fail to match the dice, match. So right. It says yeah. match. You default on the contract. Yeah. So I. So now, now this <coughs> is now I have a contract completed. I can end my turn and then I bank the contract worth two reputation and I get all the C bills related to it, or I can draw another contract and keep going. Okay. Because um, again, the game is one when you get 10. Well, let's say, you draw, let's say you decide to draw another contract. Yeah. Right. Right. And theoretically, you could win on one turn if you just with like, you never having a turn. Yeah, you could just yeah. be a baller. I'd be a baller. But oh. like if you decided to end the contract. Yeah. You would do so. It's not an escape clause. No. You would do so successfully. Yep. You would get all the C bills. Right. That you take tokens for. You take. I'm rich. <laughs> you, you take the. Uh, um, and the you get your reputation. Tokens. Yeah. Okay, but let's say you decide to. What is it? What is it called when you're done? Extend the contract. Yeah. 
You flip over the next card. card. And then you unlock your dice. But from you the start cards. a second column. This is important, Correct. right? Separate. Yep. Because you get you get like double the C bills or something, That's right? right? Or, or and, yep, plus one, I plus think. Plus one. Plus two, plus three, plus four. Right. However long you keep going. Oh no! Wait a minute. So you score your C bills and your reputation. Right. And an additional one for each one of these. That's and right. And then in the second column is, is C bill value and additional two for each one of those. I think is what it says. Okay, that could be. Two C bills for every defeated encounter in the second column, three for every in the okay. third, and so on. There you go. That makes sense. Um, and then you get an additional plus one rep on the second contract, and so on and so yeah. forth. So now, yeah. So I've I've drawn this. So then you <clears throat> re-roll. You unlock and re-roll all your dice again. Now here's the fun part that we didn't really talk about is, you know, there, there's a black market of equipment that's available at the Love beginning it. of your turn. Um, even your first turn, but we didn't have any. Um, C bills to play with. So right. tech, on this first turn, I really can't draw anything, but I can show you. What I, I believe you draw three, right? Immediately before or after, you may purchase one or more equipment of the black cards, uh, black market cards. Yeah. 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 Um, and th this is called the black market. The the three okay. that are down. Is it three or four? Can you check? I, don't it's, know. I think it's on the page one. Oh, two. it's the beginning. Uh, Lay out top five equipment cards. Oh, okay. Ooh. Totally wrong. There you go. So, oh, supercharger. Yeah, okay. is it a so, HKS or yeah. a Vortec? Uh, it's still in actually. Mm. Oh, mm. Mm. Well, so let's talk about what overpriced the, and underpowered. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I was super interested in what the equipment cards would do and how much they would cost. So why don't we take a look at them? Sure. Okay. So let's pretend like we actually have some C bills and some reputation. Pretend we're rich. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> um, do you have to? Do you need reputation to acquire equipment? Too? No, I believe it's all C bills. Um, I don't actually know what this lower one oh, is. Oh, that's the maintenance cost. Yeah. Oh, that's the maintenance cost. Okay, yeah. and we can talk about that in a second. So you have this black market, and let's look at what some of these things do. You have a void signature system, which costs six C-bills. Woo, which that's again, expensive. One, two, three, you know, four. Yeah, you, you basically have to like four complete singles. multiple missions before you can this, afford that's that a big bad boy. boy. Yeah. And so what does it do? You may end your current contract after flipping in after 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 I, after all of a sudden I can't say after flipping. Yeah. So you may end your current contract after flipping an encounter but before rolling dice. If you choose to end the contract, score all previous defeated encounters and completed contracts. Wow. So it's like an escape clause, but you get to keep earned yeah. um, contracts. That's cool. Uh, the target computer is only one C bill and one maintenance cost. Um, oh, and this one, so that's an important thing too. This one actually can't be maintained. This is a one and done. Uh, if, uh, if it has the dash on the maintain, it means that once you use it, it actually goes back to the deck. Yeah. Okay. Makes Whereas sense. these ones, you keep and you flip over, and to reactivate it, you have to spend whatever the maintenance cost is. Um, so a targeting computer is one C bill, and you can plus or minus to any single die, one. So you can plus one or minus one to any die. That's cool. So, so to, you know, if this one is is one, you know, whatever, you can change your two to a one. Um, I like it. Yeah, a supercharger is plus one. Or I'm sorry, plus two to any single die. Now they make to any single die. That's pretty yeah. good. Yeah. Since we're on this topic of plus and minus, <clears throat> right? There's a, there's one or there's, so here's an ER laser, and this one has a different rule than that. This is add plus or minus one or two, so you can choose to only add one or two or subtract one or two. Right, can't versus be both. a solid. Yeah, you can't even if it says add plus or minus two, you can't do plus or minus one. It has to be the exact number on the card unless right. it says or. Okay. Gotcha. So. Yeah, and so here's garrison duty. All right. Um, so again, you, you draw the, since now we're, we're kind of into it, let's, yeah. we'll draw the top two encounter cards, and I get to pick which one I keep. So Lyran Scout Lance, 13. Yikes. Urban Command Lance, 12. When you flipped, you get the no I think patronage. I think you've got like all the most expensive ones because they're probably yeah. sequenced in that order. Yeah, you want to shuffle it real quick? Well, I got. I'm gonna have to lay them out and to shuffle That's them true. because they're, they're so stiff. Well, no, okay. it's because let's just grab from the middle. Yeah. Then. Okay, I'll just take this one. So light striker lance three. I will now take all my die. I'll roll them again, and now with lower numbered cards, 
you know, even in the rules they talk about it, you can combine dice or you can use a single die. So this one I can get with my three die. Okay. So I'm gonna move on. Why don't you randomly hand me another dot card? Oh Jesus. Okay, rear echelon scout lance. Look how look at that one. I cannot use a fist or a black die for this one. So if I had a Ooh, black so dice. You have, so the, the fist is what, melee equipment? Yeah, these each have some kind of indicator, I think. Okay. Um, but, so this one is one, I actually have a one. So, do you wanna give me another random? Okay. Eight, jeez. Heavy battle lance. Now, I don't have a way to make eight. And so Art. I would, and you you're sure you don't re-roll at the beginning every time you draw an encounter. It's it's only when you draw a new contract because the, you're locking up the dice. The whole point is to try and I think unless it's like Yahtzee or whatever. No, it says re-roll on all unlocked dice. Each encounter. Yes, yeah, so when you flip the next encounter, place it below the first oh. one, re-roll all unlocked dice, and once again try to match the roll. Mamma mia! Well, look at that, and I get an eight. Thank you, Aaron. Okay, give me another random. I got. I got two dice left. Give me something juicy. Ooh, nine. Ooh, this is gonna be hard. Clan heavy strike. So now it's getting hard. It's getting. And I rolled six. So, so, so now what happens? So now you've failed. So you default on your contract. I default right? on all of the contracts. Now there's something in here where I can try to steal your contract. That's right. Tell us how that works. It's called securing the contract. <sighs> securing the contract. So now that I failed, I lose. Uh, it, it's now the next player's turn, which okay. would be Aaron, right? That's me. And I don't gain reputation or C-bills. I okay. lose everything, basically. I've lost everything. I just love the artwork, yeah. by the way. Can I just tell you it's, right now? It's really it's good. It's fantastic. Yeah, super glossy, very nice. Um, so securing the contract means that Aaron gets to decide whether or not he tries to... Um, and actually, you take away these encounter cards, um, and he can try and... So if say that I had like four completed contracts on here and I failed on the fifth one, right? You would have a I huge could, I incentive. I could grab all, of, all them. of them, yeah, just by beating the last one that I failed at, right? And <clears throat> what happens is you clear the encounters and then you decide to try and beat that contract and you start fresh. Got it. Um, okay. So it's risky to try and one turn stomp the player, right? Because right. if you get four into it and you fail they can do the same thing to you. Right. And now they've you, all they have to do is beat one. And right, but then if I fail and it goes back to you, you can't. No, it can only go around once. So once the so if it's only us two yes. playing, it clears. Right, it and clears nobody after, gets right. It. Now there's also an opportunity to burn the contract. Yes. So like if you if you are four deep, and I, I didn't read the rules on it, but I, I just I saw the heading. But I have to spend reputation, which That's I don't have is. on my first turn. Right. So. If you're being smart about the game, it looks like it's somewhat of a slow thing. You're trying to get some C bills so you can build up your equipment pool. Yeah. You're not trying to, you know, give your other uh, player some edge right, right. against yeah. you. So yeah, exactly. Um, pretty do you, cool. Do you want to play? Want to play through a round? Yeah. Do you want me to start over? Uh, yeah. yeah. Here, why don't you over. put those encounters in? And actually, what I want to do is I want. I bet you the equipment is probably. Are, oh wow! Are these all unique? No way! No, no, because there was two. Um, there's two targeting computers right here, for example. I have, but look, I've you see the zero. colors, and you see this. This is a has the weapon mm -hmm. icon. Um, it's a missile, and then there, yeah, and so there's an energy <coughs> um, missile, uh, ballistic, and melee. So there's four different types. Split these up a little bit. So, yeah. I'll shuffle them. All right. These so, need to be shuffled too, right? <clears throat> no, I already shuffled. Oh, I mean, you can shuffle them. I split them up pretty good, though. That's fine. I don't think it's necessary. I think I shuffled them, though. Yeah. Okay. So, all right. So, guys, we are going to get ready to play. All right. Yeah. So, we will be right back. All right, guys, we're back and we are ready to play some Battletech encounters. I'm very excited, Tom. I'm excited you bought this. Um, so we're gonna, well, we're gonna, we're gonna randomize the combat commands. They're, they've been randomized. 
we put them through the casino machine. Go first. Do we have to roll for who goes first? I've already I've already licked my finger and touched I'm this not card. Touching that card yeah. Northwind Highlanders. Iridani Light Horse. <laughs> no favorite. No <laughs> favorite. So once per turn, I score an additional two reputation when completing a garrison duty or planetary assault contract. Two reputation seems like a lot when you only need 10 to win. How many garrison cards are in there, I wonder? I don't know, but there's a lot of planetary assaults. Yeah. So. Uh, and I get once per turn when flipping a contract, <clears throat> flip the top two, take one, and place the other top, the other back on top of the yeah. contract deck. Okay. Not well, bad. let us begin. Now, I think we roll. We should roll randomly to see who goes first. Yeah. 2d6, initiative style. I'm gonna lose so bad. I'm using my... Six. Seven. I knew it was gonna Not happen. by much, but you did lose, so. Um, <sighs> Whatever. Yes. Okay, so uh, you draw the top two encounters and you pick yeah. whichever one you want. So first I'll take my five and one blue. Yeah, I'm just gonna take my one black. Um, yeah, and, and as the start of your turn, you flip over two contract cards, select one and discard the other. So. Okay. We get garrison duty. Speaking of garrison duty, speaking and of power which. grid raid. So you may add up to two to all yellow. Doesn't really help me. And complete this contract by scoring at least one encounter and ending your turn. So does that mean with garrison duty, I have to do it that way? You have. Uh, or that's an option. It says. It's. It says. Here, read it. Yeah. So it says complete the complete this contract by scoring at least one encounter. And uh, yeah, you, yeah. So and if I take that your turn, one, I have to, I can't continue on. I can't extend the contract. I, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, so I'll probably take the power grid because the garrison duty, I don't necessarily want to have to yeah. end it. So I assume, do you put it on the bottom? Yeah, I think deck? I think that sounds reasonable. It, or we could have a discard pile. I, I didn't see it specify like a discard pile, so I assume... It just goes to the bottom. Not, not yeah, the bottom. This is discard. Is there a discard pool of contracts? There is now. Yeah, I wonder if that's maybe fl yeah, face up. Right. Okay. So first, um, okay, so I can roll all my dice and I will draw the first encounter card. Okay. Moral quandary. Uh, Either default no. on this contract or lock up to four lock up to four dice and take the censure token. Up to four dice. Mm. So you could lock only one. I mean, no sense in defaulting on your first contract, right? You could just lock your one and re-roll. Or lock any of them and re-roll because you're just going to re-roll them all in the next. Yeah, let's see what happens. Actually, Moral Quandary could be really good because if you want to complete... if you Like, for example, if you only have four dice left, right? You could lock them all and then complete the contract. That's interesting. I wonder if that's what the card's made for. And then you get the censure token. Well, I'll lock it up. Give me that censure token. Take the censure token. Tom, and you've now, been censured. Now, what are the rules on this? You've attracted the ire of the Mercenary Review and Bonding Commission. Uh, this severely limits your available contracts. All right, so when you're holding it, all right, when you would select a contract, either at the beginning of your turn or when extending the player to your left, that's me, uh, I look at the top two contracts and I select one for you. Yeah, you get to pick it. Garrison duty. Garrison duty. At the end of your turn, give the censure... Oh, you give it to the player with the most reputation. Yeah. If you already have the most reputation, keep it. If there's a tie, you may choose who gets it. Yeah. I That's get not to bad. choose. Okay. That means so. I'm going to get it next turn automatically. This stinks. Yeah. All right. Or not. Unless you... Yeah, it's true if you get reputation. I guess. I don't know why. Oh, right. Okay, so I draw the next. Oh, 13. So the next encounter card is the Lyran. Is it Lyran or Lyran? Lyran, I think. Lyran? I don't know. Leave it in the Lyran comments. Scott Leave it in the Lance. comments whether to say Lyran or Lyran. When flipped, take the noble patronage token. How are you censured Ooh. and have noble patronage? That's Listen, crazy. They feel bad for me. They feel very bad. Um, and now I'll, I'll roll my dice. Oh boy, you're not oh, getting no. a 13. No, I got 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, I'm so close. All right, but so. Because you have the Noble Patron, so at the end of your turn, if you default on your contract and would not gain C bills, instead collect two C bills two. and give me the Noble, give it to the person with the fewest C bills. Well, guess what? You're getting both of them. So this ends. Do you want to capture this? Probably no. not, right? It's garbage. Yeah. It's trash. It's um, a dumpster fire. So I don't want that we crap. dispose of that okay. and dispose of those. 
All right, now we should probably. Why don't we do it right and build your <coughs> build the black market? Even though we can't really use it. Oh right, we the, forgot to we do forgot that. to build the black yeah. market. So streak missiles, wow, they're expensive. Ultra AC, oh my god, nine C bills. Dude, it says set any blue or white dice. That means you can turn the set means you can put them on whatever number whatever you want. Whatever number you want. So yeah. like I roll a one, I'm like no, I'm nah. a six. Nah. And and you can maintain it, which is wild. It's wild. Um, Triple strength mimer, pulse lasers, guardian ECM. Rolled threes are wild. This this game's wild. I'll tell you that much, Tom. Okay. Yeah. So I got my two C bills. Um, well, yeah, leave it. I think you're supposed to leave it next to it because right. you can discard and draw par as part of your. You like it there? Yeah. Like this? I always like it. Yeah. 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 Okay. So I love you, it. You no, got your I'm dice. censured, so you need to draw two. Co it's two contracts, right? Or was I can't it encounters? Remember if it's encounters or co Let's I think it's sure. contracts. It is. It's got to be. Dude, that'd be insane. Yeah, it's contracts. Okay. So, <clears throat> might as well show, show my hand. So, I can either make you do the technology raid. When revealing an encounter, discard all encounters that don't have special effects. Or headhunter mission. When revealing an encounter, flip over the top two cards and select one. Command encounters are worth plus two C-bills. Score plus one if you defeat any command encounters. Now, oh, that's really hard. This one seems like it would make it difficult for you. Because you, you have to... Draw encounters with specials? With specials, right. yeah. I'll take that one. Well, this one seems easy to achieve and gives you a bunch of money. So, And then I guess I discard it? <clears throat> Sounds like a plan. Okay. So I have a tech raid. All right. So I am going to draw my encounter. A moral quandary, Tom. Ooh. I'll lock a dice. Man, we both got one of them. Clan Command Star, dear lord. Mm, that's a biggin. I can I call use... that a biggin. It's a biggin. Now, what does your card give you? What What, what are the... Uh, uh, it's nothing to do with technology raids. Okay. That's for sure. All right, here we go. Ready? I think I got it, Tom. You got it. You could draw like a three or a four. Um, right, so I so I could escape clause, right? And, and what I would, would you get? Just two C-bills, right? Oh, no. You would get two plus two, right? Well, uh, what is two, it? yeah. Two, and then, no, you only get the bonus if you complete. So I would just get two. You know what, two? Does moral quandary count for technical raid? Should that have been discarded? I wonder. Oh, I don't know. I figured this was a special effect. Makes sense to me. I don't know what exactly... Let me see if, if they define what a special <coughs> effect is. Right. So encounter effects. They have hazard pay, field hire, salvage, noble patrons, and censure. So it doesn't really... Yeah. Okay, so I think we... I agree with you. We'll keep going. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep going. Four prototype Ooh. plans. It could happen. You could get it with one die or two. Or none, right? I can't, it has to be exact. It has to be exact, and you don't have any. So it feels like early in the game, you just kind of do a lot of Try to a lot of escape some... clausing. There's like yeah. a lot of escape, escape clausing that should happen. Now, do you wanna, do you wanna take over this technology raid? Um, I don't know why I, I would. Yeah, I don't know. I why. mean, it's not a bad card though. Right, I think you want it when it's like, well actually, I think you keep the, the completed missions though, right? Only, you no know, completed contracts, not encounters. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, com right. Encounters, um, not missions. Sorry. I wish they were called missions. Missions within the contract. That would have made sense to me. Yeah, completed contracts and the defeated encounters. Yeah. And the defeated encounters. That's, that's, hold on. Let's reread let's re this since we're... Yeah, so you, would, you would keep those encounters. They can attempt to secure the contract to take advantage of the previous player's failure by keeping the completed contracts and the defeated encounters. So... Right. You keep the whole chain. If you had completed that, <coughs> moved on. Yeah. But the contract has to be completed, I'm pretty sure. Which, like, that one was... No, I think, I think it's and defeated encounters, not... Completed contracts with. Well, see, but read this. It says, to secure the contract, you must do the following. Discard the previous player's failed encounter. Right. So this last one that I failed. Just the that Prototype one. Lance. Oh. And then you keep these. Wow, that's even better. Yeah. So, yeah, I would. 
You want you that. want this. Yeah, All right, you're going to try to secure the contract. Yeah. Now, I have no reputation. Can I burn the contract to the ground? I'm just kidding. By giving uh, up. Now, I, guess I don't I'm... I keep noble patronage because I have the least amount of sea bills. But I give you the censure. Oh, interesting. And and so at the start now You're censured. Here's my question. You done I, been censured, Tom? Can I buy anything with my points? Or by no? Guardian ECM. Is this considered Our Guardian ECM? Because ECM's... I'm like freaking sweet yeah but i'm like partially in in the turn does this count as or do i have to wait no, until no it's a new turn oh i understand what you're saying because you didn't draw technically draw yeah i wonder if it says retain all unlocked dice except bonus dice yeah you may choose to use equipment to add your own bonus dice however if any color dice were locked you may ch wait a minute retain all unlocked dice ex oh okay I don't think you get all the dice back. Oh. I think I. Oh, so you're trying to go with two dice. Retain all unlocked dice except bonus dice. You may choose to use equipment to add your own bonus dice. However, if any color die were locked on encounters, you may choose to replace those with your white dice or your own color dice. Do you remember what was locked up? You had. Yeah, I had two left. So it was like one on moral con quandary and then. 13 you had three Yeah, something or like, something that. like that. So you basically have two well, dice left. Right, okay. And, um, Interesting. Okay, and then flip up a new encounter in the same column and roll any remaining dice and try to defeat it. So, them. yeah, you're probably right. You probably don't get to buy equipment at this point. Okay. Recon Lance. That's rough. When cashed out, keep for one. Can't do it. That's so, so. bizarre that, like... So... Funny enough, I read that completely wrong at first. I thought you cleared that and you started from the contract over again. Yeah, yeah. No, that, that makes sense to me. What doesn't make sense to me is a recon lance. All right, so think about it. You roll five dice or six dice. Yeah. Like your probability of rolling exactly a one is not very high. It's rough. It's actually more, it's easier to beat a command star. Well, and that's why you're hoping you need to get equipment so that you can change dice, right? If I would have bought... Um, this is why you add plus or minus. Right, I had a three. It's wild. I could have, you know, right with this guy right here. Makes and sense. And then I could have turned this into a one. I like it. Yeah. So right now you're like in a locust, and you're just hoping for the best. <laughs> That's exactly All it. All right. Yeah. So are you going to try to beat this? I can't, remember, because I can't go back around. That's right. All right, but it is my turn. So I'm, I'll no clear wolf. all of that. Now I'm censured. It stinks. Deep raid for two. Or garrison <clears throat> duty. Well, I'm not going to give you that, obviously, because it helps you. So. Oh, man. <laughs> Why, do you want, it? you want it? No, it's all right. What is this? Oh, energy weapons and or missiles and big auto cannons can't be maintained. Well, this is worth two reputation, so I'm kind of excited about this yeah, one. My dice are unlocked, Tom. You don't have any equipment anyway, right? So. Oh, you know what? You know what I forgot? Is when I have the noble patronage. When I defaulted... You should have gotten two sea bills. I would have gotten two sea bills, just like you. And, and you would have gotten two sea bills on this last turn because you had the Give noble patronage. Back. Give me that back. All right, we gotta remember this thing. So okay, now, yeah. Give me an encounter. What is it? Fifteen. C Clan Salama Star. Clan Ooh. Salami Star. Salami Star. Is it right. Somehow it's got a, a Jaeger mech. A Jaeger mech. <laughs> Jaeger, Jaeger mech. Jaeger bomb mech. So this is a 10-banger, okay? That's not too bad. It's, that's doable. You get a lot of dice. A lot of dice here, people. Look at oh, all, you. look at that. Wow. That's the best thing you could do is nail it in two dice. Yeah, there's no right. other thing you could do, yeah. Well, all right, here it comes. More dice, yeah. Clan Light Fire Nova. Okay. Now, do you want to buy any equipment? I can't. You only do it at the beginning of the contract. Oh, right, right. Okay. Right? Yeah. Which I probably should have. Oh, look at that. Three. Oh, I'm on form. I'm on form, folks. There you go. Will I complete a contract? Clan Ooh, heavy anti-aircraft star, Tom. I didn't even know there was an anti-aircraft star. That's cool. Oh, uh, yeah. It's just all riflemen. Actually, all, it's clan. I don't shields, know. shields, I hope. It's awesome. Okay. Close. So, so I don't get it. And you have nothing to modify with, Nothing right? to modify with. Okay. So now, there's three dice left and one 
I'm gonna steal it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to complete the contract. So that gets discarded, but you take, right, you get this, and I give you this. Yeah. All right, now, I do get, hang on, I get two Seabills, because um, I have some noble patron, and then I give all this crap to you. Okay. Because when we're tied for Seabills, you have to give it away. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Heavy Battle Lance, eight. That's much better on three dice. Yeah. Not impossible. Impossible. Wow, we're, all of a sudden we're rolling surprise. So then this gets cleared. <clears throat> yep. I just wasted another turn like a, like a loser. Like okay. a loser. So I guess I get two. Yeah. And then um, I have the most money, so I keep the censure. No, it's rep based. Rep. So I take, I get them this both. This goes again. to the person with the lowest, yeah. and this goes to the low, and, lowest rep. And I can choose to, yeah, you I choose to you again. again. Okay. Now, now, before though, I'm buying this Guardian ECM. Smart. All right, I'm gonna buy that puppy. Yeah, that's a good buy. And then you, you uh, replace it in the equipment deck. All right. Um, with the new card. I'm gonna flip this guy. And you can over. buy as much as you want. Uh, you can have. Ooh, I think you have, I'm gonna buy caseless ammo. And I believe you I can have lock, lock. What does lock mean? A uh, lock. Oh, you um, don't re-roll it in between encounters. This allows you to lock one additional die when defeating an encounter. You may play this after rolling and placing die on an encounter. So you can just throw an extra die onto an encounter. I'll read it again. You ready? This allows you to lock one additional die, white or color, when defeating an encounter. You must play this after rolling and placing die on an encounter. So, so, you, so like, just, if the encounter, for example, is an eight, and I roll this. Yeah. I could say boom, and then I'm gonna use my caseless ammo. Yeah. Now, when you use the equipment, they get depleted. You turn them That's upside right. down. You have to spend this the maintenance in C bills in C bills to flip it back over and use it again. Yeah. I'll double check. You ready? Hold on. Um, Dude, my locust is pimped out, bro. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, it's great. All right. Okay. You ready for this? Yeah. Oh, oh. So that's what we're looking for. So you have. Um, four equipment cards. That's yeah. how many you can have equipped. Um, some things allow you to get a fifth, apparently, somehow. But okay. But no, you're good. Okay. Well, I'm ready to go. Yeah. All right. So what did I? What do you got for me? Okay. So unfortunately, you get either a planetary assault or a garrison duty. Ooh, my favorites. I get two additional rep when I complete one of these bad boys. And now, with my equipment, it seems all but certain. Give me the planetary assault. I don't know. Yeah, at least you have a chance of. I'm gonna give you no. I'm gonna give you this because you have to end your turn, right? That makes <clears throat> sense, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, I can't keep going with yeah. Garrison. Yeah. All right. So. Uh, so when when and when it benefits you, that's the best <clears throat> I can probably yeah. hope for. Clan fast assault star. Oh, okay. okay. It's fast. It's an assault star. It's only worth five. Okay, here we go. All right, so I'm not going to use any of my equipment. I'm just going to... Yeah, makes sense. I'm going to do another encounter. Clan support star. Okay. I see a seven. I see two different ways to make a seven, yeah. Do I want to like... I don't see like... <clears throat> so what equipment do you have right now? So like I think... I can do this, use my caseless ammo, and lock this die and be done. Yeah. All right, bro? I agree. And then I get three rep because I get one from the garrison duty and because I'm doing garrison duty in a yeah. kilt. Or you spend the lease and keep going and then you can earn more money. Don't trick me. <laughs> Don't trick me. Give me my three. I'm, I'm doing it and I'm ending my contract. Smart. Yeah, that's smart. So I'm going to gain three reputation. Yep. How come these crappy things don't have any Because you're unlucky. C bills. I'm kidding. Oh, you get you always get a C bill. They I know, but don't some of them have extra C bills? Yeah. This is crap. So this how is many... a clan salvage. How come I don't get good money for this? So stupid. Since this is the first one, when you complete the contract, you score C bills and reputation. Okay. First you cash out. Collect one C bill for every defeated encounter in the first column. Two. Okay, you might as well take two. Okay. I'm rich. Um, and then you score reputation equal to the value on the first completed contract card. 
Mm -hmm. Okay. There you go. You're done. That's All easy. right. Now, <clears throat> remind me about the noble patron. Yeah. And so the noble patron stays with both. me because I'm poorer than you. A member of the nobility is chosen to support your unit. At the end of your turn, if you default, you can say collect two. Um, give the noble patron's <clears throat> token to the player with the fewest C bills. That would be me. Yeah. So I have what? You're rich. Yeah. Six. Yeah. Um, and censure. Um, Whoever has the most reputation. Oh, so it stays. So, so both stay with me. Now I'm going to spend a C bill. I'm going to refresh my caseless ammo. Okay. Which I think I can do at the end of the contract. If not, I would have. I'll do it at the beginning of next turn. I don't no know. No idea. All right. Okay. Um, so now I will draw my contract. Oh, no, you're not censured. How come I'm always censured? You, Why do you I have, have such a bad, bad reputation? Attitude. You have a bad, bad attitude. attitude. People have been talking. Okay. So I can either take planetary salt Tikhanov. Or planetary salt Hesperus. Her, her Equipment piece, yeah. costs minus one C bill, but cannot be maintained. When revealing an encounter, flip over the top two, and the player to your left selects the one you must defeat. But this is really good early in the game because you can buy stuff super cheap and get ramped up, and then you can maintain and it just later. Just not use it, or just maintain it after you're done that contract. Oh, so they mean like you can't use it and then. Re up it within within the same that turn, same yeah, which I didn't I didn't realize you could oh, do. That. I didn't think you could do that either. I thought it had to be the next turn. That's once per turn. Let's check, shall we? But that's what I mean. Like, does that mean you have to? If you buy it, you have to give it away. You know, expend it. Yeah. <clears throat> Make sure. You oh, those. it just says at any time during your turn you can use the equipment cards and exhaust it whenever you. Oh, whenever you can purchase equipment, you pay the maintenance cost. Oh, so, so if you get into the contract, you can turn it back on. I wonder if that effect stays in play for the duration. So if you extend the contract, those effects still apply. I would think not. I would think they're contained within because within like the, the benefit. Well, then from otherwise this. that one doesn't make sense because you can't actually maintain equipment within a single contract. You can only purchase equipment. Let me just double check. Yeah, read through and see what it says about encounter special effects or something. All right. Well, I'm gonna take a look. Immediately before or after you begin a new contract, you can purchase equipment. So that's the only time you can maintain it. All right. That's what I'm saying. I think it means like if you use it, you have to discard it. So it costs one less C bill. So does that mean the things that cost <clears throat> one, I just get for free? Seems that way. And then but then you just expend it. You know, so things that are not maintainable, you throw you, after they're a single use. Cannot be maintained. I, I don't know. Maybe. I'm not really sure on the language of that card. P pick the other mission. I don't understand that one. Sure. Okay. Um Okay, so planetary salt tickenolf. Yeah, it's interesting that there really isn't clear explanation. Unless I'm missing it, I do not see anything on when the special effects for the contract apply. Okay. So well, I'm going but continue. to continue. Yeah, I was going to say I'm going to in the equipment deck replace this card. Can you read the rules on the equipment? I believe you can turn over another card and discard one from the pile. If you choose not to purchase equipment, you can choose to instead discard one and replace oh, it. but if I'm not buying something. Yeah, you have to choose not to buy anything, and then okay. you can... Um, I think I'm going to pick the <clears throat> add plus or minus one or two. Yeah. I'll spend my six C bills. Ooh. And I will... You're going to get streak missiles? Streak missiles, yeah. I'm always a big, big fan of... SSRMs or something. Wow, yeah. That's uh It's a good one, right? That's delightful. Uh, okay, and then um you get to pick my encounter. Yeah. So either Clan Heavy Star for eight or Do direct I, fire. Oh lance. I, that's what it says I pick? Yeah. I wanna pick the direct fire lance. Okay. All right. I feel like now the question is for every single encounter or yeah. just the first one? Wow. Okay. Well, can I have the white dice? You may, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. Um, so four. Oh, I was okay. hoping you didn't get it, but you got it like two different ways. Yeah, so it's, it's interesting. Um, 
Do I want to, does it matter to lock up my You don't blue? have any equipment that uses your blue dice. And that's really where, it's not the card necessarily. It's There might be an encounter. But usually I, yeah. it means that you can't use them. Right. On the, so I'll just lock it up. So now here's again. So I can either have six or 12. 12. Now I get salvage with that. I'm going to do it because we let's see how salvage works. Yeah. In the spirit of the game. And I just got to get 12. And I have a plus or minus to any two dice, by the way. Up to four, but I don't have any green, so it doesn't matter. But it's pretty good. So 12, okay. So you could actually add, you can use, if you wanted to, Yeah. you could use your equipment right now. And I could. You could make both your fours sixes, because you can add plus two, right? Yeah. So up to two white dice. Right, or I could turn them into ones, and then. Oh, you, well, does it, let me see that. You could, how do you turn oh, them into ones? Cut. Oh, I couldn't turn them into one. I could turn them into twos. Mm, okay, so I, yeah, I'm too, you're right, you're right. Oh no, because plus or minus one or two. So I can turn these each into twos, but then that's four. That's not Yeah, right. yeah, it's not going to be enough. I see what you're trying to do there. I though. get it. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, the, I can either do that so I have two left, or I could just... Use it for one and only have one left. You probably want two left because I get to pick your mission. Yeah, two seems good, right? Yeah. Yeah, I would just use your... Especially with plus or minus two. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll try that then. Um, so, oh, but I can't because I'm going to have to expend this regardless. Okay. I'll expend what's your, what's it. I'll your, turn these into sixes. Uh, when I flip a contract, I get to pick. Oh. Um, or And I, I put one back on the top of the deck. It's interesting. I don't get the benefit there. Um, okay. Well, well let's... If I'm, if I'm censured, you could really stack the, the odds against me. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to pick Ooh. the... What the heck is this one? Rear Echelon Scout Lance. Hazard pay if you own equipment that Hazard uses... Cool. So you don't own that. So I'm going to pick the Rear Echelon. Oh, interesting. Okay. Scout Lance. And it plays plus two C-Bill. Okay. Well, yeah. I'm hoping I roll a one or I get a two or something. Oh, it doesn't... No, not even close. You 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 boned me with this bad boy. I did. Well, you. I drawn, mean, honestly, I drew two ones. It would have happened either There's way. There's no way I could have. Well, I guess if I draw. I know. am going to. Okay. Uh, continue on that with that contract. Okay. So this gets discarded, right? Correct. But you get two dice. I get two dice. Here, I'll, you can keep your your blue one. I take this one. Now here's the question. Would you would you be able to maintain that? No. Interesting. Because per our rules, right, we, that we just read, you can only do it at the begin. As soon as you, basically before you draw it or as soon as you flip it over, that's when you can yeah. buy equipment. And um, So you're right. So a after I went through the encounters, I would not have been able to do that. So it does matter now. Now, I didn't have patronage, so I don't get any. <clears throat> you got nothing. I, just, I, got, I got all the things. I bummed. Okay, go for all it. All right. Here we go. Encounter. I know. I get to pick. Right? Let's. This is a new one. All right. Clan Heavy Star or Light Electronic Warfare Lance. Must be defeated twice with the same roll of the dice. What does that even mean? I have no idea. Like I have to roll a six? Well, regardless, I'm giving that to you. That means I'd have to roll two threes? I have no. I, I don't or know. Or like that... a total. What... Must be defeated twice with the same roll. What do you guys think that means? Like I, like because you lock the dice on yeah, the so card. Yeah, so you need a six. You double it, I guess. Or do you roll twice and have to get the same exact roll? Twice? No, but it says with the same roll. With the same roll. Must be defeated twice with the same roll of the dice. That means I need two individual threes. Or or like a one two one two. Like, yeah, it's bizarre. Okay. Do. You, uh, Maybe that, let's just, let's not even get into this. Not even get into that. Leave in the comments what you think that card means here. I'm going to hold it up. Maybe maybe you guys can, can see it maybe there. Maybe we're just very tired. I maybe, know. maybe we're just tired or we're fried. bad at English. So I need a seven. You need a seven, yeah. Wait a minute, ECM, threes Dude, are wild. No, let me just tell you. Oh, I would have won, <laughs> I would have gotten this guy. <gasps> that is unbelievable that we didn't do it and you got it. I should. I, I almost want to like swap the cards. Well, I'm going to use my Guardian ECM. Okay, so I'm what gonna, does that let you? It says threes are wild. 
Oh, So I want to make this one a four and that one a three. Well, no, wild means you get to set it. I assume. What the hell else would wild mean? That's a great point, yeah. It means whatever you want it to be. Okay, cool. There so you whatever go. I want it to be. Yeah, so... This dice is a seven. No, I, you can't... Actually, that's in the rules. You can't make the dice something it cannot Negative roll. or... Yeah. yeah, you can't make them negative. So if even if you have streaks that are like plus two, you can't you make can't. a six and eight. That's right, yeah. Fun fact. Um, so I'm going to make wild seven. So I'm going to complete the contract. So how does salvage work? That becomes... Oh, I got the salvage. Yeah. Some encounters have salvage listed. If you cash out, which I just did, draw the top card from the in equipment deck until you draw an equipment card that has a maintenance cost. Everything else is discarded. I add this to my collection face down. So here it is, LBX 10. I add it face down. I can add two blue for the remainder. Wait, you oh, just get it? I can just add them. Yeah, yeah, you just get them. Even though but I'm- You just get that card? Yeah. That's amazing. So you could pull like a nine C bill card. You can, but it has to have a maintenance cost on right. it, which it does. This happens to be a cheap one. So, but and but it comes into play expended. It does. Yeah, exhausted so you have to or spend whatever. Yeah, the points to to repair it basically. Now hold on. So let's talk about your reputation. I got your C bills. There's uh -huh. no extras here. That's right. Salvage still gets C bills. You get three, but you have a bonus, right? I get five, Tom. Because you get plus two. Because I get plus two. There you go. So how much are you up to now? You're up to I'm eight. I'm up to eight in reputation. Yeah. So what happens with Noble Oblige and Sensual? So I have five. You have no C bills. So you get this, but I am still censured because you have the most. I reputation. have so much reputation. Okay. Yeah. And that just never goes away, huh? Never goes away. Interesting. Okay. Um, so we start fresh. It's my turn. I will pull two contracts. Planetary Salt Coventry. Cycle all cards in the black market. That's Planetary cool. Assault New Aragon. When revealing an encounter, flip over the top two cards and the player to your left selects the one you must defeat. Um, I'll do the Planetary Assault Coventry, so wipe Coventry. that out and uh, if you would be so kind and um, give us some five new ones. Stolen Playbook. Cancel one effect from an encounter oh, or contract. I don't have any money anyway, melee. So, okay. yeah. Retractable Blade, Very Thunder cool. LRMs, Endo Steel. And Clan Tech Noro Helmet. Four oh, is a yeah. wild. Wow, that's a good one. And I, I oh, and I can't even um, recover my card because I have no C bills. So sorry about. And, and what is the the maintenance on that? Is three too? It's an expensive card. Yeah. Streak missiles aren't cheap. Not cheap. Okay. All right, here we go. Um, can I have the white die? Come in your way. And then I can roll them now. <clears throat> you like matter. to pre-roll. I do. You're a pre-roller. I'm a pre-roller. Um, that's actually a pretty it's a pretty solid roll right there. You got lots of indirect options. fire lance. Okay. So I need to get a seven. Yeah. Wow, so I could do that, or I could do two. Um, that would only leave me two dice. I think I'll do like the classic three and four. Yeah. That's always a good move. Good move. Um, mm -hmm. Five. Fast Ooh, Assault Star, five. Nicely done, you got it. So yeah, there's no modifiers there. Um, okay. Oh boy. Seven. Dang. And I don't really have anything. Okay, so I fail. I'll get two C-bills. Um, I think I keep the Noble Patronage. You do. Okay. Yeah. Well, no, no. I think you always pass it on because I failed. If I, let, me, let me just read it. Um, at the end of your turn, if you default and thus would not gain C-bills, you collect two and give the Noble Patronage token to the player with the fewest ah. C-bills. Oh, if you have the fewest, you keep it. Okay. Oh, great. Yeah, so I keep it. You keep it. Okay. And then um, you're going to... I'm not yeah. because I need to refresh my equipment. I got to... Yeah, you're smart. Got to do some things here. Okay. I gotta, I'm going for the win, Tom. You're close. I mean, all you basically need is... I think one contract and you'll probably... All right. So win. I'm going to pay one, two, three. Perfect. All right. Get... I got like a legit mercenary lance going on here. Uh, All yeah, right, some blackjacks sure. maybe. I don't know. Got something with ECM, maybe a raven. <laughs> oh, it's the LBX. Yeah, yeah, very cool. Uh, so. Oh, add your bonus die. Oh no, you have to spend the card to get them. Correct. Now, when do you, when can you spend them? Anytime. Anytime. In okay. The, in the encounter. So e so even. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We'll double check it, but I'm pretty sure you just use them. Do you want to draw two contracts and pick one because I'm still censured here? Anytime during the turn, you can use your equipment card. Yeah. yeah. And 
Yeah, and the add thing, right? It means you get those dice into your pool. I'm yeah, ninety nine percent sure. Add blue, blue for the remainder of the turn cannot be used more than yeah, once. Yes, so you add dice. This adds the dice displayed to your dice pool for the rest of the turn. Now, for the rest of the turn, I know, but that like, is it good or bad? Like, you know, having more dice isn't necessarily the best thing. But if you have a bunch of equipment, you know, it can be. Pretty let me ask you a question before we get into it. Yeah. Let's say I want to take off the discard pile. Let's say I have like one dice left. Right, all my other stuff is locked up, right? And I roll like a five or something, and I'm like, ooh, I want to activate my LBX. Can I just add them then? Because it I says at any time during your turn. Any time during the turn, you can activate equipment. I feel like... At any time during your turn, you may use an equipment card for its stated effect. Yeah, so I think so, yeah? Yeah. So I think that's why you would do it, because you don't want to like proactively add them, because that stinks. So they're yeah. like your get out of jail card. All right. Yeah. So I pulled two of the Clan same Clan Hunter. When revealing an encounter, flip over the top two cards and select one. Can encounters are worth two C-bills and plus one reputation. So if you win this, you will win the game. You'll get 10. It's true. So... Drawing and you, you kind of get the best one you could think of, right? Because you get to draw two cards. Oh, yeah, and you you're select right. one. Yeah, okay. And you do that for every encounter, huh? Yeah, there you go. Nine's probably good. I want, you the, could I want the bigger one. Yeah, I want the bigger one. And all does right. it say you discard it or? All right, so here's a nine. Boom. All right, draw again. You draw two again, yeah, if you want. 69. Beavis and Butthead. Again. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> You're going big. Oh, you got it again. Okay. Guys, Send it can happen roll. here. The first documented victory of Battletech Encounters. Tom. Oh, you're right. I get to pick two. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Mm. Both of them are hard. The three is very hard. But you have what? The eight's probably better than the three, right? But you can re-roll threes or wild. Yeah, I want the eight. Yeah. I got some tricks up my sleeve. Okay, okay. now. So what are you going to do? I'm going to have to use my LBX 10 to start. Now, does it, act, does it add both or can you choose one or two? Does it, it say up add, two? It says, no, no okay. it says so, two blue. Yep, so you add the two blue. And you got your eight. All right, so I got my eight. Now you have two more dice. Dear God, again. Um, flip that card back yep. over, yeah, just so you don't forget. Rear Echelon, a Scout Lance, and support level two. I mean, so how could you make 11? Because if I roll double threes, no, but what I need to do is I need to, so my best probability here is using the ECM and hope I roll a three and then locking the other one. So I need a one or a three on either one of these dice. Right. And then you'll... you'll. But I got freaking boxcars. Well, no. I mean, you have a blue die, and it says you can lock it, right? That means you set it to whatever you want. No, lock it means you attach it to a card. Set. Oh, lock. So you should have... Wait, you should have done that. <clears throat> oh, you couldn't have done that. I could. Turn. That's right. Okay. Yeah, I couldn't have. So, I default on my contract after all of that. Yeah, it stinks. You don't, you don't have noble patronage, so you're not getting any money. I get nothing. Now, I think I'm going to... I <coughs> lose the bonus die. If, if I were to try and take this, that means I have one dice left to make the card. I don't have any equipment, so I'm not taking this, obviously. Right? You sure? Yeah, if I only have one die... Oh, 16.67% chance, Tom. And all of this could be yours. Yeah, but it's not that good. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it's not worth it. It's not I think it. it's a bad idea. All right. I haven't gotten a single contract. I yet. defaulted. I don't have any um, reputation. So once per turn, Planetary Assault Apollo. Oh, wait, but I have my C bills, so I can. Oh, I don't have enough, though. Um, oh, but I do have enough to buy something. You could buy something. Clan um, Tech Noro Helmet. All fours are wild. Best thing ever. Lock. Locking is good too. But. Cancel one effect from an encounter or contract that affects no. Yes, I think you're right. I'll probably buy the Neuro Helmet. It's just so good. Yeah, it's, it's such a... And it's only a one cost to maintain it. I know. Um, oh my goodness, look at this thing. Yeah. Holy crapola. Okay. 
Um, <clears throat> so cost plus one to maintain. Okay, so that doesn't really help me at all. Escort duty three reputation. So I'm sorry. Can I can I can I digress for a moment? Sure. So the ultra auto cannon is a piece of equipment that allows you to set two blue dice and two white dice. The yeah. LBX auto cannon adds blue dice to your pool. So used in tandem, which doesn't really make sense in the BattleTech universe, but used in tandem, these different pieces of equipment are broken as hell. You basically can set four dice and you can add these to your pool whenever you want. That's cray cray. That's great. I love it. I'm gonna play this game more. I know you're already, you're, he's always a deck builder. You're a magic I'm player. I'm just like, right? I'm figuring you're out the getting, power combos. Yeah. I'm just like, dee, 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 this is fun. I'm getting rolled. Okay, I'm taking escort duty. Three reputation. I can catch what? up. But I cannot end the contract without completing it. So I have to get this. Oh, so. you can't you can't exit clause or whatever. Yeah. Or escape closet. Um oh I didn't um pull an encounter yet. Yep. Um one. Okay. Um when cashed out key for one. So I have a four, which is wild. You're gonna use the clan Nora helmet on this guy? What else am I gonna do? Just let me win. I don't know. Not happening. Can't buddy. do it. No. Can't do it, folks. Ten. Wow. Got it. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Or I can get rid of all those dice. Probably I mean, a bad idea. Yeah. I would I would um, keep two. So bet your best odds there. Is it though? Oh, yeah. You you you're better at this <clears throat> stuff than I am. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah. Oh god. Can't read it. Can't Not bad it, though. Tom. Got close. Okay. When I'm flipped, take the noble patronage. I already have it. Well, uh, I fail miserably. Um, I assume you don't. I'm taking it. Are you really? No, you I'm don't not need take it. it. Yeah, like you I'm don't gonna need flip, three. I'm going to flip my auto cannon. I'm going to start a new one. There you go. All right. As I say, I don't think so you pay, need So I'll one. get my two C bills. Um, Come on, Northwind Highlanders. I'm censured. You draw two and pick one. <laughs> Headhunter. Oh, I can. You're getting that one, obviously, because you only get one reputation. Flip over the top two cards and select one. Command encounters are worth two C bills. This one's actually pretty cool, but you're not getting it. But wow. it says it says to end this contract, you must declare your intent to end it and then reveal and defeat one additional encounter. So if you don't defeat that encounter, you can't complete it. It's very cool. But if I get a command encounter, I get plus one reputation, Tom. So maybe so. I should. This one seems very hard, but whatever. It's fine. Do it. Okay. I like All right. it. Tom's Tom's going for it. Fire level two. I need seven. Here it comes. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. So far, so good. Berserker lance. Ooh, with salvage. Not that it matters. But. Not that it matters. Okay. Easy, easy. Trying to think of a way to like lock, lock just it up absolutely win just it? win right now. Like, well, you're three. So, is hang wild. on a second. Two, four. Hang on. Yeah. And then this three is wild. So, if I make this a four and then use this to lock it, but I only get one reputation. See? So, I wouldn't win if I did that. Oh, that's right. So, so you get more salvage. I don't freaking want salvage, Tom. I want to win the game. Mm. All right. So, I'm going to take one more card. Okay. Yeah, because you still have other things. striker lance. I need a six. This is doable, guys. First time documented on the internet. Battletech encounters. Here it comes. You're you're there. I mean. <laughs> but you have to lock. I'm um, gonna have to use this again. Because it's a th okay. Okay. So you need what geez, six or five, Louise? And you don't have it. Oh, you do it with that. Okay. Yeah. This is the worst game in the history of the world. So stressful. So stressful. No! A nine. Wow. I mean, again. Come on. Come on, LBX. Here it comes, guys. Are you ready? Oh, my God! <laughs> and threes are wild, right? So you can make your... I'm going to make them a six and a three matter. or whatever. Actually, no. And then five it, and a four. And then it... You get I'm it. I'm done. Okay. But you got to take another contract, right? I have to take another contract because no, there's no way. And you can refresh your equipment. Why wouldn't you? Do I get the C bills now? 
I don't think I so. I don't. Oh, but you don't have any C boosts. I got one. But I can only use the LBX once per turn, so I'm gonna spend one and refresh this. Oh. These stay got? in my dice pool. You get all your dice back. All right, and I'm gonna take another contract. Now. Right, and, and you keep those blue dice. I keep them. To the turn. Yeah. Okay. And now I get to pick, right? Because you're censured? Yeah. Okay. Planetary Salt Robinson. To end this contract, you must declare your intent. I'm gonna do that one, obviously. Oh, God, this that one's one hard. stinks. This other one is just, you know, it, maintenance costs are different. But I don't understand. So let's talk about this. Yeah. It says, to end this contract, the player must declare their intent to end this contract. Then draw an encounter. But what if all your dice are locked? Because that's you, the only Then you don't get it. You fail. You, you have to, before you draw the next card, you have to think that you're going to be able to get it. It's hard. Oh, my yeah. God. Okay. But okay. if you do it right, you know, you have, you have a couple different levers. To I pull. don't like that, Tom. It's hard. Direct eh? fire lance. It's a four banger. Nice. Easy. Here we go, guys. Clan Fast Assault Star. You have so many dice. <laughs> so many dice. Oh, ooh, okay. Now, what would you do here? Would you try to get rid of two or... You could get rid of three or one. One, two, or three. I feel like I want to do that. Right? I think so. I mean, I've been failing miserably, so don't listen to me. But yeah, and then you have maybe on the next one... <clears throat> nah, I'm doing that. Yeah. Doing that, Tom. 11, that's a good one. I think with this many dice. You might be able to, oh, but you couldn't, <clears throat> so you wouldn't want to try. You got it right there. Okay. Leave three. Well, now, I remember, I would probably declare here None. because you have the ability to lock extra dice, you know? All right, I'm going to declare my intent. Declare Don't my do intent. It because I told you. But. No. Oh, I knew it! <laughs> A I can't one? beat it. I can't beat it. I've been defeated by the Recon Lance. Oh, my God. They're every time the Recon Lance. That's so literally what, the hardest card in the game. A one. It's, so, yeah. well, wait a minute. I declare my intent, right? Yeah, so what happens? You just Do you get to keep playing? This doesn't make any sense to me. Let, let me read again, because maybe you just have to declare it on the next encounter. Like, it doesn't say that you lose. To end this contract, the player must declare their intent to end it and then reveal it in defeat one additional encounter. Do I draw two encounters? Well, that's what I was gonna say. If, if you can't, if you, can you keep declaring your intent to beat it on the next card? Yeah, maybe. I don't right, think it so, because it says draw one more. One additional. Oh, I see, and defeat one additional. Yeah, that means you get one try. But, the player must declare, then reveal. I don't understand. One additional card. So do I draw two here? No, I mean, I think it means that that's, that's the end. If you don't get it, you can't keep declaring it. But again, I don't know. I don't know either. So what happens? So what happens if I beat this? You would, like, I can beat it with the easy Well, that's end. what I'm saying, but you, you can't complete the contract. So I think you fail it. Let me see if it says anything about... Hmm. Well, at the end of the day... Do I at least get... Oh, here you go. Oh. Um, the Planetary Assault Dairon and Planetary Assault Robinson. That's Robinson, right? Robinson. Contracts require you to reveal and defeat an encounter immediately after declaring you are ending the contract. And failing to defeat that additional encounter will result in defaulting instead of completing the contract. So you can't just normally go through and progress and like lock your dice. You have to say, this is my last one. Exactly. When you, when you get to a certain point. I gotcha. Okay. Well, so so do I lose all of this? Yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah. I, I hate this game. It's the worst game ever. I don't think I'm going to try to snatch it from you. You'd um, only have one dice. Well, yeah, and I can't write. And you could try. Right, but there's look like, at look at all this there's juicy. A million, it's just not worth it. I'm going to I'm going to start over. All right. Um, I still haven't gotten any reputation, by the way. Just to, just to point this out. This is not working out well. Do you have any Seabills left? Uh, no. Does this change hands right now or? At the end of your turn, yeah. Not at the end of each turn? I don't think so. I'm just gonna double check. I think it says at the end of your turn. 
Oh, Recon Lance. Why have you forsaken me? Yeah, it's interesting. It, 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 reading it, it triggers on when you have it on yeah, your turn. Okay. that's right. So um, I'll pull my two contracts. Deep Raid <clears throat> and Planetary Assault Hunan. Um, they're functionally the same for me, so I'm just going to keep Hunan. You're not going to do a Deep Raid? No, I kind of love that, though. But um, no. Um, Clan Firestar. Come on, Tom. I'm pulling for you. I know. I got to get on a roll here. Um, Do it. Or I could use four. <sighs> That's pretty good. Yeah. If you want to just get some rep. Yeah. Two. Cannot use blank or blank. Hazard pay. If you own that equipment, plus two seabills. I don't have any. Oh, snap. Tom is on form. Okay. I'm keeping it going. Wow, this is amazing. You may add up to two. You may add two to all blue dice rolled. Oh, so right, yeah. I recover all my dice, right? Yep. Okay, or I can take Planetary Assault Helen. No, um, dude, the first one where you're going to have blue is fantastic. Well, right, but neither of these... No, but you have a native They cost dice. plus one. Yeah. Right, that's what I mean. I'm going to take <clears throat> Supply Chain. Yeah, yeah, here. okay. Um, now, the question is, I have two C-bills... Refresh the Nora helmet. <clears throat> yeah, I'll spend that to refresh. Hell this yeah. I can't. No, your streaks are um, out of your out of your pay grade. I get all my numbers again. Okay, and I'll pull an encounter. Clan Heavy Striker Star nine. It's a big deal. And I can add up to two. Okay, so six, seven, eight, nine. Do it. Um, right now, I want to keep this as long as possible. I think so. Yeah. So I could also do yeah. Okay, that's the only way I can really do it. Okay. 12, Urban Command Lance. When flipped, take the Noble Patronage. Okay, I already have it. So 12. Okay. Um, I definitely have a way to get it. You can add to the blue. You could also use two dice and add to the blue one, make right. it a six. Um, and fours are wild, so I could also do that. There's different ways. In. That's an interesting mm, thing. I would, I would probably keep the Nora helmet because the... No, I could finish this contract, couldn't I? I could. Can you reduce it by oh, two? Oh, I can only add two. If you could reduce it by two, that would be I could, sick. I could be. That's brilliant. Well, no, I still can, right? If I change this four to a one. You'd be at 13. You need 12. Right. There's no one way to... too many. But. Still, it's good. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, so which one do you think you would. I would save the Nora helmet. You think? Because it has to be a four. I can guarantee that I can add. It's a fair point. But I can only add two. You can only add to it. So you're all. This sick. could be anything. I don't know. Yeah, that could be. You could be. It's a little more flexible. I, I My gut instinct is keep the Nora helmet. I feel like it's better. But. Two. And then I would. And I would have two dice. Yeah. And if I roll a four, then I would have a wild. What do you think, guys? I think I think it's better to have the the surety of the blue. Okay. The problem is if I roll a five or a six. Yeah, you're losing I'm it. Not, yeah, I'm not. This was probably the best usage of it. Okay. I agree. So I'll do that. Take right? your encounter. Okay. Go to town. Now I could call it now. I don't you, get you don't any get reputation, reputation, but, but I you get, get the sea bills. Yeah, which isn't worth it for me. Yeah, you okay. need the rep. That's the four. Okay, must be defeated twice with the same roll of the dice. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means either. I still, I still do not get it. You got to roll like doubles. Like I don't. Now like I don't... you got an eight, so you technically beat it twice with a single roll of the dice. Like beating it twice with one roll of the dice. Does it mean you need to have two, two groups of four? Yeah. In... You, you make the call here. I don't. How do we play it with you? I think you discard it and draw another encounter if you want my opinion. Because okay, I'm not going to no re-roll. Yeah, that's fine. But I have no idea how this works. I, I I will have to go to the internet. Six. Maybe you guys know. You're smarter than us. <sighs> yeah. No. If I had rolled this. Oh, you didn't get it. I could have gotten it. Um, if I kept the blue. But no, I didn't get it. So I default. I get two <clears throat> singles. She can refresh your streaks next turn. Be quiet. Still no, still no luck. Uh, are you going to try to get this? You don't need to, but uh, you have two dice. You have a bunch of stuff. You, can, you have all your stuff, right? Uh, no, I only have two of my things. 
Um, but I have no C bills. So yeah, why not? Yeah, let's go to town. Okay. So, I'll just take that off. Doesn't yep. matter. And, and I'll so you, the, yeah, you I'll put the black, black one on there. there. Yep. Um, I'm I'm gonna go for it. Two. Watch me get another. Let me watch me get foiled by another commando. You ready? Well, yeah, but you have a chance to. You get to roll those. Remember, you don't. Eleven. Oh. Uh, Sick. So you can. But hold on. You can re-roll threes as wild. Okay. So. <laughs> There's a three. Can I make it, can I make that an eleven? <laughs> you can Is that how this change. works? Well no, because then you can only change it to six. Wait, I'm poor. I get the noble patronage token. You do indeed. From last turn. So um, yeah, so get your two C bills. I do. Cycle all cards in the black market. When revealing an encounter. Sweet. I'm taking this one, obviously. I need to get at least like one. Um okay. And I get to flip <clears throat> over two and select one. So I'm obviously going to take the 10, right? Yeah. Um, you got locked five dice on that one. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Uh, four, <coughs> uh, there's five. I could try that. That's, yeah. You could do it. Or you could swap the twos out and, you know, have two for the next one. Maybe do that. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably just yeah. Four. Like keep the keep the blue dice. Oh, you don't need the the blue dice thing is gone. Never mind. Yeah, so I could do yeah. that. Yep. And then um, um, oh seven. That dude. That's the most likely number you are gonna roll on two d six. Yeah. The probability is in your favor. And seven. I rolled a three. I said it was in your favor, not guaranteed. Okay, okay um, you're gonna keep this? Yeah, man. Two dice, okay. No, I'm not actually. You know why? Because I'm gonna spend a C bill and refresh my LBX mm, 10 here. We're gonna start over. So Tom, I'm censured by all means, please draw me two contracts and choose whichever. I'm still censured. You, I've been censured forever. Garrison duty. Does it really oh, stay with you? an extra. Does it really stay with you forever? There you go. Give you the hardest thing I can think God, of. God, you keep it. It stinks. Another freaking planetary assault? This one's interesting. It's a north wind. It's in my home. It is, but guess what? You have to add two to any value on the encounter card. This stinks. I hate stinks. this one. Yeah, good luck. <clears throat> could be could be good. <laughs> so I need a 10. Oh, but you already get salvage, man. You're getting all the luck. You're good at dice games. Easy peasy. Ten. Or, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. You think? Because <laughs> it could get really high really fast. And what do you have? You have a lock? I mean, I guess I got... And you have threes. Threes are, are wild. I don't know. That's hard to say. It's yeah, man. The two dice is the, the danger zone. In it's opinion. a danger zone. It one Because like, the card could be one or it could be It could be 13. 400. Yeah. We're going to go. We're going to play dangerous. Dude. We're going to live dangerously, Tom. Oh, no, but it's plus two, right? You, and you did 10 on that. Yeah, you got that. Just seven, remember, eight, nine, ten. So even a one is actually... Five, six, seven. Perfect. I need a seven. A three again. I, I rolled the same exact thing, right? You rolled the same with, exact with thing. Seven. All right, here we go. Oh, oh, but you refreshed. <clears throat> six. Would you fucking wow. believe it? But you can lock... I a, quit. You can lock a dice. It doesn't matter. I need a seven. Oh, I forgot it's plus two. And and wilds are for you are what? Fours? Threes. threes. Can you believe Dude, it? Dude, you're so close. Oh. I'm gonna take this by the way. Give me that bad boy. Um I'll give you that back. Okay. All encounters apply plus two. Can I have this two dice? So I need to get an eleven. This is like impossible. Uh, I defaulted. I still get two C bills, right? Yeah. And then it's tied, so this would go to you, by the way. Yeah. But then I, I defaulted C bills. <laughs> then you defaulted. I'll take it back. <laughs> um, oh, I should. Yeah, I couldn't have refreshed it. Yeah, I do. That was, that was rough. Now you're in. I want to play okay, one more time. And then we'll, I want to just end Are on my Are you censured? Okay. I'm censured. Planetary We're almost through, we're almost through all the contracts. Detroit. I'm going to Detroit. Dude, Detroit, what's that? 
Or you can add up to two to all rolled black die. So obviously I'm not giving you that. Yeah, don't give me that one. There you go. All right, so Planetary Assault Detroit. If you have chrome rims on your mech, you are at minus one. Uh-oh. I have to exhaust them and turn them upside down because they get stolen. <laughs> also, never win a Super Bowl. Sick uh, burn. Oh. Also, uh, not really pizza. Go on. <laughs> Kidding, poor, I love Detroit. Poor Detroit. So. Um, okay, here we go. Ready? Oh, also, I'm going to refresh my LBX. Great card, by the way. Equipment is... Great card. Equipment is a differentiator. Actually, let me browse the market here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. We haven't been... Dude. We've been lax. Sleep at the wheel. So now you're maxed out, by the way. You would have to retire a card. I can only have four. Only four. Yeah. But now I can lock two dice with two different things. I can use Thunder LRMs and my caseless ammo. I can use caseless missiles. Wow. Well, yeah, it's a true story. Uh, ready? Here it comes. Yep. A three. Strong start. Sorry about that. Here we go. Almost. By the way, that was minus one C bill, right? Did you pay the right amount? Oh, no. Yeah. Thank you Get for pointing that out. Back. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. So honest. It was Detroit. It's Brings not, out the best in us. They're like fake Thunder LRMs. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, <laughs> <you're just laughs> it's tinfoil. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> We're awful. The wish.com of, of uh, LRMs. Electronic Warfare Lance. Here we go. What, what's the special on that? You get extra Must seabills? be defeated twice with the same roll. And how do we play that? Do we throw it away or? No idea. Throw it away. But check it Get out. No, one. I'm going to do it right now. Watch. Ready? Okay. I don't know. How, how does it even work? Throw it away. Let's not even try. You sure? We've been doing it. We haven't played one yet. Okay. So. I don't, I, I really want to know how these work. And look right. at your lucky. A look six. That. Beautiful. A six. Beautiful. Okay. <clears throat> check Some it out. Some would say the most beautiful card. Some would say the most beautiful. You have so many so, ways to do it. Now wait a minute, okay? One dice or two dice? I can lock two and I can make this wild. So I'm gonna make this a two, six, and then lock these two. There you go, you get it? Two rep. And it's planetary assault, I get two more. I get four reputations. Well, and then you can't, you have to get I can't win, exactly you have to get exactly <laughs> 10 reputation. The exact thing awesome. is really hard. Yeah, it's but really it makes hard. But it, it makes it fun. Yeah. Makes the Equ game last. Equipment is the equipment is the secret to success. It's so obvious. I think this is a very fun game, by but the way. But you can only have four. Yeah, you can only, you can only have, four. have four. So you, you gotta. You have to be smart about it, and and like they do. Some of them do synergize, but and I some are very expensive, and that's uh, that was the biggest mistake I made was buying a really expensive. The, um, the high maintenance cost. It's too, it's too much. Yeah, it's too much. And it's not. I mean, it is pretty powerful, but. Yeah, I mean, lock like, yeah. four affecting four dice. <clears throat> yeah. So I think the strategy of the game is this. I think early on, you use your exit clause or escape clause, whatever it is, as much as possible, collect C bills, buy equipment, and then you can start going deep on the contracts, right? And then again, you, you could wait until like turn four and then just, you know. Yeah, and just like blow through yeah. it. And if you have a card like that where you get plus two for planetary assaults, you could literally get 10 in a turn. Yeah. Like pretty easily, I think. This is great, thanks for buying this. Wow. Very cool game, Tom. Yeah. Very cool I, I was, game. I'm excited. Well, guys, listen, we're going to wrap this one up. I hope that you enjoyed watching us play. I, I know at some points you're probably like, what are these guys doing? But, yeah, if you have it on in the background, you know, you kind of get a hang for how the game plays. You see what's in the box. Um, but. Yeah. And so to wrap up on our review side of things. Yeah. All the materials are really nice. Um, the printing quality is high. Yeah. Um, the quality of the markers is good. The yeah. dice are good. It's a really nice package for the price. Um, <clears throat> this would get a buy from me. I think so too. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and also like Kids it's could easy. Play it. I was just gonna say it's easy enough where like you could play with the family, right? It's just like Dragon Realm and like those other games, like you know where you yeah. roll the dice and you try to get the specific numbers. It kind of harkens back to that, but it's got that great Battletech flavor in it. The artwork is tremendous. It's really good. Uh, it's yeah. so good. It's really, really good. Interestingly, it's the strongest artwork I think I've seen. Great job. Love it. Happy. Yeah, great job, Catalyst. This is a good one. Um, and yeah. guys, definitely get out and grab it. Uh, you can get it at Barnes & Noble. I believe it's an exclusive right now, Barnes & Noble. Um, all right, so if you want to get other Battletech stuff, Aries Games and Minis, all right, this entire production was brought to you ad-free, except for the beginning and the very end which you can skip at the very end, by the way. It's a pro tip, a life hack for you. You can skip the commercials at the end Listen, of the video. Listen, we take the feedback you give us. We're yeah. trying to change the game. 
changing the game. So like the video. Jeez. Yeah. So uh, when you're Come done on. buying stuff at Aries Games and Minis. Come back. Come back and then like, subscribe. Leave a comment. Let me know if you know how those weird encounter cards work. Um, yeah, if you wrote them, let's see. Um, <clears throat> James Kirtley. Um, Please call us. Yeah, feel free to drop us an email. Love to talk to you. Yeah. Maybe yeah. we could do an interview. We could talk through some of the different Ooh. cards. And you could uh, give us the inside scoop. So. Inside scoop. Would love that. Uh, but that said, guys, we're all wrapped up. Uh, and one more thing. Head on over to Patreon. All right? Helps us buy all this stuff. Tom can't buy this stuff. Without your support. I'm sleeping on the couch tonight. <laughs> In the when studio. she found out I bought this, she was so mad. You were out. So mad. She was, she was like, get out More of my boxes. house. More uh, boxes. But anyway, all jokes aside, guys, thanks to all of our patrons out there. And our wives, um, by the way. And, and our wives. Yeah. Appreciate it. Um, she doesn't watch. She doesn't, she doesn't watch. She doesn't even subscribe. Not interested. Yeah. She's probably Come not on. subscribed. Come on, Tom's wife. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, but that said, guys, we are, we are definitely done. So thank you so much for watching. And of course, stay tuned. Always great stuff coming from Death From Above Wargaming. Have a good night.